now we're going to calculate a simple return journey. We've got a journey here from Brisbane, Hong Kong, Bangkok, back to Brisbane. So what we have to establish is where is our fare break point going to be? It's either going to be Brisbane to Hong Kong or will it be Brisbane to Bangkok? The way you establish a fare break point for a return journey is to try to break your journey at the city with the greatest MPM from origin. So what I've done down here for you, I've written down a fare from Brisbane to Hong Kong and Brisbane to Bangkok. You'll notice I've written down the NUX here for you. That's a return fare and I've halved it. Because I thought while I'm looking at my fare in the companion fare manual and I'm looking at my MPMs, let's write it all down at once. So Brisbane to Hong Kong, the MPM is 5181 and Brisbane to Bangkok, the MPM is 5434. So the greatest MPM is Brisbane to Bangkok. So what is a good idea when you're working out your fares is put a line under there, Bangkok. So our outbound fare is calculated as Brisbane to Bangkok and our inbound fare we look it up also as Brisbane to Bangkok because we're always working on half return fares from your point of origin. So we look up a Brisbane to Bangkok, Brisbane to Bangkok. I've already looked up the fare for you. So this was an economy class journey. So the full return fare, halve it, and I've got my fare here. Next, what we'll do is we'll put our fare onto the fare calculation ladder. Just an important point to remember, your fare break point is at the city with the greatest MPM, not the greatest NUC. We're now going to put our fare onto the fare calculation ladder. The fare basis for this journey is F, which is first class. So we've got outbound journey is Brisbane to Bangkok, EH. The NUC I've looked up for you. Now remember with the NUC, when you're working on return journeys, if a return NUC is published, you need to look up the return NUC and halve it. You know it's a return NUC because it has an R at the end. So half of the return is 2857.96. We've got our MPM. Our TPM is lower than the MPM, which is great. It means we don't need any EMMA. There's no new TPM. Our journey is in on miles. So our total NUC remains the same as our outbound NUC of 285796. And for the inbound, you'll see it's the same. It's also a Brisbane to Bangkok. It's EH. 2857.96. TPMs are lower than the MPM. We're in on miles, so 2857.96. Now this journey went via Hong Kong, and Hong Kong has a security tax that needs to be included on tickets because it's actually commissionable. And anything you see written on a ticket, an agent earns commission on. So this tax in your notes, it's all the information is there. It's shown as Hong Kong $33. To get that into a NUC, you take the Hong Kong 33, divide it by the Hong Kong rate of exchange, which I give to you, and that converts into a NUC of 4.23. So I'm gonna show you now and try and put this, how this would all appear on a ticket for you. And see if we can get this in. So I gave you the carriers. So we're flying Brisbane on Cathay to Hong Kong on Cathay to Bangkok. This is where we show the Q surcharge. That's a Q. It is a Q. 4.23. Then we're going on coming. We've got the NUC from Brisbane to Bangkok. We show in on miles. 2857.96. And coming back home, it was QF back to Brisbane. Again, that was in on miles, 2857.96. We then write NUC to show our total NUC. So we add up all our NUCs to get a total NUC, and that comes to 5720.96. I'm sorry, 0.16. That's me, I can't read my own writing. End. 
We have to write the rate of exchange we're using. The rate of exchange. The rate of exchange converts a NUC into a local currency. Our local currency is Australian dollars because it's a fare from Brisbane. The rate of exchange actually changes four times a year, but we're going to use the one rate of exchange, or RO, the whole way throughout all our exercises. So our rate of exchange is 1.356208. Rate of exchange times your NUC equals AUD. So 5720.16 times our rate of exchange equals AUD 7758. With your fares, remember always to round up to the next whole dollar. This fare probably came to 7757 point a decimal place, so I've just rounded it up automatically to the next whole dollar of AUD 7758. When you're showing all this information on your tickets, your AUD is going to be slightly over here. I'm just out of room today. So that's how we put all this information onto your fare calculation ladder.